All right, folks, here we go. Uh, video number three. So step three in, in the healing process with Miss Bear here. So we got a couple of goals that we're going to try to accomplish today anyway with this session. She's doing really good with coming around, healing on her left side, good position, steady. Um, we can make it 10, 15 yards um, using the clicker, rewarding her. She'll walk at her side. She'll sit. So she is ready to start moving on. So before we move on and we get too far ahead of the process and get going, we're going to take the RPM slip lead right here. And what we talked about before, we're going to slip it over top of her head and we're going to create a figure eight, right? So we're going to do this and we are going to get her used to that. So we'll get Bear over here. Bear, Bear. Good, good girl. So we're going to slip it over so it's a slip and then we're going to put it over top of her nose. She might not like this. This is her very first time. So we're going to work with her, getting her comfor comfortable with it. We're also going to use a clicker and basically this is all we're going to do. I'm not going to heal her. I am not going to do nothing with her. So she's pulling at it and now she's not going to be able to slip it off because they don't like it. So they're going to lay down. You're going to see a little bit of I don't want to do this. It's perfectly fine. The main thing is, just don't let them slip it off. So I'm not applying. You can see I have one finger through the loop. Sorry, it's my middle finger, but I have one finger through there. So we're going to let her work through this. And once she is calm and she learns, so this isn't hurting her any. This is just annoying. This is very, very annoying for a dog to have something over top of their muzzle at first. So she stopped screwing with it here. So she's not screwing with it, so we're going to click and we're going to reward her, right? We want her, in order to build a positive thing to this, that, hey, this is positive, it's okay. Like I said, it's not even hurting her. I got one finger on it, I'm not applying pressure. If she pulls, she's applying some pressure to it. It is okay, this is totally normal for a dog to go through this. Like I said, this is what we're going to build, and we're trying to building a positive relation to this. So we are going to do this quite a few sessions. And you can see, right, her ears are back, her tail is down. You will see as we go along with this process and we keep on doing this and building a positive to this, that they soon realize that, hey, this is an okay thing. I don't need to screw with it. And if I don't screw with it, it's fine. So we're having a formal protest right now, laying down, still trying to dig at it. Like I said, this is perfectly normal, perfectly fine. They just don't like it. Yeah. So even with this on, you're, you're noticing, right? I am giving her food. She can still, the dog can still eat. They can still drink with this on. The only thing that's going on is we're taking away their control. We're taking away their muscle. So I'm not even going to try walking with her at this point with this on her. I want her to realize, hey, when this is on me, it's an okay thing. It's good. And you can see now, right? She realized, hey, I can't get this off. I'm fine with it. It's all good. Good girl. Bear, bear. So we're going to get her to move just a tiny bit. Oh, there we go. So I'm not trying to walk with her right now with this. I am just trying to get her to move a little bit to get loosened up because usually if the dog sits too static, you're going to see that hey, they'll comply. So if we get her moving again, she'll keep on walking and then she might try dicking with it or try pulling on it some more. Sorry, right there, she kind of tried a little bit. Now with this, if a dog even moves her head down a little bit, it's going to apply just a tiny bit of pressure there. Bear, bear. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. 
So she's sitting good with this. It's the best part of the figure eight. Slip it right off the muzzle, right around the neck. We're done. So this is what are going to be our next step, right? We are going to do this several times with Bear to get her used to this. Once she, I can put this on, she's not fighting it anymore. We're going to move on. So um, from there, once we get this, so this is one of the step threes, is going to be getting the dog used to having um, what we're going to call the gentle halter on. Now with Bear, um, from what she was pulling, we have taken her on a couple outings and a couple walks. So she pulls pretty hard on the leash. So I think what we're going to do is for Bear, we are going to start off with the Smith Wonder lead, right? This is that stiff rope. Stiff cord that I talked about, very easy sliding. So, what we're gonna do with this, with putting the slip lead on, we're gonna put it on her, over top, and we're going right behind her ears. Can't really see it that well. But we're gonna go right behind her ears, and we're gonna start establishing a contact point around her neck for the e-collar with the slip lead. We are still gonna use a clicker and still use positive. We are still in that phase. I would recommend not skin it, skipping it. Um, like I said, there's more than one way to skin a cat. There's several different methods. This is what we do. We take little tiny baby steps. We crawl before we can run. Here we go. Heel. So if she's not going quite, we're gonna give a little tug tug. We stop, she sat, we reward. There, heel. Doing good, she's looking up our way. I want a little bit of contact, so we're gonna turn. We're gonna tug tug. So the main part with this is I am not applying any pressure to there. Just a little tug tug. But I'm not holding constant pressure on my slip lead. And she's actually not pulling as bad as what I anticipated that she was going to. So which is a very good thing for us. Their heel. So she's making some inside corners. But mind you, we're only working in maybe a 10 yard, 10 yard space right now. We're starting inside, it's enclosed. There's no distractions. She's doing really good with stopping, sitting. We're making the progress, heel. We move, she moves. We stop, she stops. Her heel. She's getting a little bit farther away. We'll tug, tug to get her back where we want her. And we'll stop. Her heel. All right. So that's going to be enough for Bear for today. We probably had. Had about the six to seven, maybe eight minute range, someplace in there with what we're doing. So for this session, we're done. So our next session is we're gonna split it up and our next sessions are gonna be, we're gonna put on the easy halter with the RPM lead and we're just gonna do probably a 10 minutes session of just that. Clicking, getting her so she's not dicking with it, not pulling on it. Um, for other sessions, we'll do only one more with the Smith Wonder lead. She's doing a very good job with that. So we'll do one more session with that. And then we're just going to use our RPM lead and hop right into that with healing. So that is her next step. So we're going to continue working on that. And like I said, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you got any questions, drop the questions so we can answer them. Have a good day, folks.